Hey guys, how have you been doing? I hope everybody's doing well, even though 2020 has just been that, right? I care about you. Here's some pine cones on a stick. I mean, it's been like a non-stop Mercury retrograde. Period. Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, tell me. Everybody, it seems like, I mean, aside from the madness just going on in the world in general... It's like everybody's just struck. Like it, it, it's the year apparently for every individual in the world to do some reflecting and um, just figure out what's going on in your life. But hey, if anybody wants to talk, I'm here. Comments are open. You know, if you want to talk publicly, we can all talk. Let's be here for each other. That's something I want to talk about here a little bit later in the video. Um, we're going to do this here now. This, you know, the nail tutorial thing. The fake tattoos on nails. I, I'm buffing my nails right now. Look, I know my buffer looks like a hot mess, okay? With the quarantine stuff, shortages and everything, the way shipping was being. I just, look, I got way behind, okay? And my nail buffer is a mess. You can see it's falling apart. Let's ignore that, okay? I went down to Sally's the other day. I got me a new one. Y'all won't have to see this mess again. So... I'm going to show you today how to put fake tattoos on your nails. Did you know that was a thing? Did you know it was possible? Because I didn't. I never really thought about it. And if you have saw somebody else do this, let me know. I'm wanting to try and give myself credit. Be like, I'll figure this out myself. But I probably didn't. Let's be real. I just, I got these tattoos in the mail in a package from Pixie Beauty and they are like a gold finish. They're so pretty. I showed you a minute ago. And I was like, I wonder if I can get these on my nails. And I tried a hundred different ways. They failed. But I figured it out. You want a matte surface. Period. Um, so I'm going to show you a few different ways to do it. And the first way is with this finger right here. I'm starting already. It's if you want to apply polish. The nails that I have on my hand right now, these were done with the Gershon Precision Tip Builder Gel. And I did do a video with that. I think it was my last video. If you haven't watched it, I will go ahead and link it in the cards and in the description. You should definitely check it out. I love this stuff. Um, but that's the color of that gel. But I do want to go ahead and show you guys a way if you want to paint your nails and then do it because you will have to buff your surface because even that little bit of, uh, that little bit of shine that polish leaves you want to get rid of it. So I'm going to show you how you can paint your nails and still mattify your surface even if you don't have a matte top coat or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So with this first nail, I'm applying gel polish. It does not matter if you want to use regular polish, girl, have at it. Keep that in mind as we move through here. It does not matter what type of polish you're using, what type of top coats you are using. If it's regular gel, it does not matter. You just want to make sure that everything is nice and fully cured before you move on. That's it, okay? So on this first finger, I have went ahead and applied some nail polish from a newer Model 1's um, like nude pink set. Oh, I love it. The colors are beautiful. I'll link those in the description. I will link everything that I can down in the description that I use in this video. I always try and do that because, you know, we like to help each other out here in the DIY nail community. So I've applied that colored polish. I'm going to cure that because it is gel. And then I'll be right back. Now, because I did use gel, I do want to wipe away that sticky layer. So that's what I'm doing here. I just put some alcohol on a lint-free wipe and I'm removing that sticky layer and cleaning off my counter apparently as well. <laughs> so we have applied two coats of polish. And because I use gel, there is a sticky layer. I want to remove that. And I'm left with kind of like a semi-gloss satin finish, maybe you could call it. And that's still a little too much shine. Like I said, we want it totally matte. So we're going to have to buff it. And 
in order to protect the color that we have put down, we need to apply a clear top coat because we need something to buff on, right? Without messing up our nail polish. So the next step is applying a top coat. And again, it doesn't matter if it's gel or regular polish. You just want to make sure you're using a clear top coat and you really want to make sure that it's fully cured, right? Good, hard, cured, all that, because we're going to be buffing on it and we don't want it getting all gummy and messy. So I'm going to use this Beatles top coat. This is one of my favorites that's available on Amazon. It, again, it's a gel and I'm going to go ahead and apply that, throw it in the lamp and be right back. By the way, there's a lot of places in this video where I normally would have sped up and sped through. Um, but if you didn't notice, you probably didn't notice, <laughs> but I took a little bit of a break and if you haven't been here before, you might not know, but I record everything on my phone. I edit it together on my phone. And while I was gone, the app that I use had just totally changed. So <laughs> I was like, dude, I don't feel like learning all this right now. I already had this footage basically to put together and put up a video. I was like, I'm just going to kind of keep it how it is. I'll do a voiceover and I'll just chit chat with people during the boring parts. And yeah, so um, I'm sorry things are a little slower than usual. I try and keep them fairly slow, first of all, just because I want to make videos that I want to make videos that like I had trouble finding, which I know this isn't one of those, but I just I kind of want to take my time anyways, because I just I want people to uh, be able to follow. You know what I mean? If you're learning how to do your nails, sometimes it can be hard to follow or somebody may not know exactly what you're talking about. And I just want to make sure that I'm clear in what I'm saying. So if you think I repeat myself a lot or something like that, I'm so sorry. I just, I want to be clear for, you know, somebody who might be brand new and didn't catch it the first or second time that I said, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm here just chit chatting, just chit chatting. But anyways, we have that top coat on. So now we can buff the nail without disturbing our collar polish that we put down, right? I've buffed my nail and now I just want to clean it, get all that nail dust off. I'm going to use a nail brush and then I'm going to go in after that and use uh, a lint-free wipe with some alcohol on it to go ahead and wipe that dust off and then it's ready to put the tattoo on if you have a matte top coat you could have used that instead and then not have to buff. I am on the next nail going to show you how to do it with a matte top coat. Um, but yeah, if you have a matte top coat available, you can jump right along. If you are using regular polish and you're like, I can't ever find a matte top coat. I'm going to put one of my favorite ones I'll put in the description for you. It's a regular polish. It's from Emma Beauty LA. I love that brand they've got gel polish regular polish um dip powders in every color every single color has got all three of those options so um but anyways this nail's ready i'm going to pull out my tattoos and pick out which one i want to use as you can see i've already cut several out of here it was because you know where i was testing out doing it before i made the video um but yeah, these are so pretty. Like I said, they're a nice gold. I don't know if you can really see it. I think you can. But I thought about doing these leaves. And then I thought twice about it. I don't know. I like all of these. I settled on this rose right here. So what I'm going to do is take these scissors. Some of my old haircut and scissors. Juice. These were from beauty school. That was, these are so old girl. That was 14 years ago. I'm feeling so old, but anyhow, you just, you want to cut the tattoo out and it's got a film, right? So you want to try and remove 
as much excess around it as possible. I mean, you don't have to have it cut out perfectly tight. You know what I mean? But you do want to try and cut off a lot of that excessive excess because it will leave a film on your fingernail and it can get kind of crinkly. It can get bumpy. You, you just want your picture, just the picture. So we have it cut out and we're going to use the rose. I've got some water and then I have got a cotton face pad. You're going to do this pretty much just like you would on your skin. And the first thing we're going to do is remove that plastic backing. And then we're going to place it down on the nail, of course, where you want it. Now, because these are a little bit sticky and because your nail is curved, you want to try and press it into place. Now I'm going to take the cotton pad and get it very well saturated with water. The wetter, the better. And then I'm just going to apply some pressure. You can see the water dripping there. Like I said, you want it good and wet. I'm going to peek. It looks like it's doing pretty good already, but I'm going to go ahead and lay it one more time. Giving some pressure. Try not to move around because you don't want it to slide. You know what I'm saying? And let's take a peek. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. And then you should be able to slide that right off of your nail. And we have a tattoo on our nail. Oh my gosh. How easy was that? No, like, just boom. Instead of taking some uh, clear polish with a liner brush and painting that all out by hand, boom, there it is, done. I love it. So easy. So have any of you all been following this beauty drama? Girl, oh my gosh. Jeffree Star always starting something, right? If you're not following it, just ignore me. Like, girl, what are you talking about? But I look, I got my opinions, but I am very curious as to what you have to say. We can talk about it downstairs. Leave it downstairs. We can all chit chat. Why not? Let's talk about something. Um, but anyways, moving right along. Because this is a tattoo, you know, it's kind of like putting a sticker on your nail or something like that. You do need to top coat or encapsulate with acrylic or gel, something like that. You know what I mean? But I'm just going to put on a top coat. We want to make sure our girl stays in place. So now on this nail, I'm going to show you how to do it if you have a matte top coat. Again, we're going to go ahead and lay down a polish, like a collar. And I'm going to use the same one again. If, if you have acrylic, poly gel, gel nails that have a collar you already like, you know, like the nails that I have right now in this video. If you already like the collar you have, that's what I'm going to show you next. You can go ahead and jump straight ahead to that if you like. But this time, again, I'm just going to show you how we're going to put down a collar. And if you do have a matte top coat, how we're going to do it with a matte top coat. So I'm going to lay down two collars of polish. I am going to cure it or again and again, again, I say again a lot, don't I? If you have a regular polish and you're using regular polish, allow that to cure. And then we'll move on to the top coat part. Sorry, I had a little fuzzy there that I was having some trouble with. Just like before, I am going to remove that sticky layer if you're using gel polish. And this time I'm going to use the Beatles Matte Top Coat. Uh, as I said before, if you're using regular polish and you struggle finding a matte top coat for regular polish, I will list one down in the description box. It's excellent. It's awesome. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful, girl. It looks, yeah, uh, I've been in this house way too long. Way too long, girl. 
So I'm just going to cure this really quick. And this is how my nail looks with the matte top coat. We're going to do pretty much from here the exact same thing we did last time. And this time I think I'm going to do these leaves and I can like cut, you know, like I can cut this bit out and I think that'll fit my nail really well. So that's what I'm going to do this time. So again, I'm just going to cut out the tattoo I want and then cut off all of that excess and follow the same steps that I followed before. So since we know what I'm going to do from here and you might be getting ready to click out, can you stick around for a second? Because I want to talk to everybody that if, you know, if you're still here, um, I just want to talk about something kind of serious. So I watch a lot of nail videos. I am not a pro. I am a cosmetologist. I have been schooled in like natural nails, how to do designs and things like that on natural nails. Um, I went to take the class for nail extensions. I got frustrated with myself because I just, I could not pick up how to work with acrylic, right? So after two days, I really, I just gave up on myself. So I never learned how to do it at school. Well, you know, here we are 14 years later, I decided to do it. So now I'm a DIY nail person, right? Um, I have watched a lot of YouTube videos to try and learn how to do my nails at home and to familiarize myself with things like poly gel and gel, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I watch a lot of DIY nail girls. So I've noticed in the comments, like you just see some of the, for the most part, I feel like if you're part of this community and you post videos you're nice. You're kind. You know, I feel like this, the DIY nail community is a, a beautiful one. Everybody is so supportive of each other. We really just like to help each other out. We like to lift each other up and, but there are some viewers that it's just like some of the comments I see in some people's videos are so just cruel and rude. And it hurts my heart because I think, you know, this girl has put herself out there, has put herself online to try and help people that are wanting to do their nails. And you're just, not you in particular, I mean, but maybe you, I don't know, maybe you have left a rude comment on somebody's video. But like, can we not do that? Um, I'm going to throw up some examples of what I'm talking about. I don't know if the person's name or picture or anything will be up with this, but it just, it blows my mind, some of the things I see. Um, there's a super sweet girl, and just some of the comments, she's, some of the comments I saw, it made me so angry, I had to say something to these people. People talking about someone's accent because they're from another country. Um, people talking about somebody's hairy fingers and just, just shaming and bullying. And it's not cool. Like, it's not cool. If you're an adult, why are you doing this? Seriously, why? I, I, my whole life, I guess I've always been able to put myself in somebody else's shoes and try and see things from someone else's perspective. And I mean, I've, I really pride myself in that and I really try to do that. And I can't imagine how that would feel. And I haven't so far have not gotten a rude comment like that, but I know I will. I know I will. <laughs> And I just don't understand. Like, if somebody's doing nothing, they're just trying to help you learn how to do your own nails at home. Why be rude? Why degrade someone's appearance? Why? Why? Just don't do it. I mean, come on. I know one of these comments said something about somebody's hairy fingers. And I was like, why be rude? She was like, I'm just being honest. And it's like, listen, keep that kind of honesty to yourself. 
You can also be honest and say something nice like, hey, that nail design looks bomb, girl. Thank you for the tutorial. We don't have to be rude to people. What is that bringing? What are you adding to the world? What are you adding to the small conversation about that nail tutorial? Nothing. Just let's all, all of us, try and work on being better people. Um, I don't care how you feel about Jaclyn Hill. One day she said something in one of her videos. If you have something nice to say when you're on social media, if you have something nice to say about somebody's post or their video or whatever, say it. All I have to say is those of you out there who have good thoughts, who see a picture or watch a YouTube video and you think something positive, comment. Comment on anyone's video or picture or tweet that you like. Any positivity that you can bring to the world is so necessary. Just, if you have anything nice to say, say it. Because the people who have nasty things to say, they are proud to give their opinion. So we should be too. Even if it's someone who I know is never going to see my comment in a million years. You know, someone who has 20, 40, 50, 100 million followers. If I see something that I like, I comment on it. Because it's like, I just want to add to that positivity. You know, I want them to have one extra comment of kindness because I know that everybody gets hate. So it's like, why not add some happiness in there? I think all of us have plenty of room to hear something nice from somebody else. So make that a goal. I'm going to challenge you. Make that a goal when you're watching somebody's video or you're looking at their post on Instagram. If you have something nice to say, say it because we could all use it. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, rant over. I just want to talk about that. Selena Ryden has like a whole movement going on. I'm going to link the video that talks about that. I'll link that in my description. I think it's something we could all learn from. Uh, I think it's a great movement. So, yeah. Anyhow. So, this is how we've put the tattoos on our nails. Okay. This is my final nail. My husband had walked in when I was recording this. I didn't get my pinky done. Um, but I think I, I, I've showed everybody, you know, how to do it in a few different ways there. If you're new here or if you've been here a few times, if you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe because why not? If I've helped you out, if you have anything to say about this beauty drama, if you have anything to say about shaming people or being rude or being nice, whatever, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. And leave a like. I'm working on a video about nail shaping. <laughs> I think I've said this the last three videos. Leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll see you next.